I gotta say that thing is a hundred percent worth it. Get 30 minutes of double XP, so you catch a new Pokemon. That's 1,200 XP. And I'm gonna say if you guys are starting off, 100% recommend getting the double XP egg because you're gonna be getting a lot of new Pokemon at the start, and that's a lot of easy XP. And bam, my egg is hatching, and let's see what we get. We get a nice Magnemite, which is awesome because I haven't had one of these before, and bam, another 1,000. Uh, 200 XP, loving that. I tried using the uh, lure module, I bought one of them, but I went to a Pokestop and I couldn't activate it. So if you guys know how to um, activate that lure module, let me know because I couldn't get it working. I don't know if it's because I had a uh, lucky, well, the double XP egg on. So I just put the uh, incense on and walked around and I found another Dratini and this Dratini is so much better than the one I had before and it was so hard to capture because it's got the yellow ring around it. And this thing was such a pain in the butt to capture. But I know the area where I live, where these things spawn now, so I'm going to keep going back there and try to find as many Dratinis as I can and try and get a Dragonite. Because getting a Dragonite would be so hype. Put it in a gym, no one is going to take that gym from me, ever. But luckily though, I found quite a few um, Team Instinct gyms. Um, about 20 minute walk away from where I live, so that's great. Because all I've seen is Team Mystic everywhere, the blue team. They've literally flooded where I live. There's maybe like one or two like um, Team Valor, the red gym. There's like two or three gyms I've seen, but literally about 30, 40 have been blue. In the area I walked today, I found a lot of Team Instinct gyms, so I, I should uh, run up to them, go help defend them. We can start off small. Team Instinct is going to take over my town I'm in, but right here, I, oh, I found a Bellsprout. Another new Pokemon I haven't seen before, so going to quickly grab that bad boy. But I didn't really want to take on gyms today because I have, I'm quite weak as it is. Because my CP isn't high enough, as, as I said, the servers were down for me and I couldn't get on. A lot of people uh, got ahead. But I just thought, I'll take on the gyms now. Get a little bit of XP, because we've got double XP right now. Might, might as well make the most of this double XP. And I get a lot of XP today. I keep saying XP. But I went from level 6, and I think I end at level 8. Which is uh, doesn't seem like a lot, but in Pokemon Go terms, that is quite a lot. Also, little tip for uh, Pokemon battles. I've been... Get a little bit better at these and I found out a few tactics. You can actually swipe the left or right and you can dodge attacks and you'll see I uh, start doing it now. It's like, you can attack that Pidgeot a little bit. Pidgeot versus Pidgeot. And then I'm going to try and avoid a few attacks. I go, swipe to the left, bam. Swipe again, dodge that attack. Still not great at it, I need to like learn how to do it. One thing I don't do in today's episode, which I know, I now know what to do. When that blue bar underneath your HP is full, if you hold on to the screen, just like, instead of tapping it, just hold on. That's when you do your special attack. So, a um, little tip for you guys, in case you didn't know, because this game really needs like a little tutorial. Every single time I play a main series Pokemon game, like Lyra or whoever's like, this is how you catch a Pokemon, like, just go away, I know how to capture a Pokemon, but this game, this game would really benefit from one. But walking around, walking around, I found a horsey. That's pretty cool, and I thought, oh, I would love to have a Kingdra, but you can't get Kingdra in this uh, game at the moment. It's like a, maybe a future update. Right now, I can get a Seedra though, and I thought I'm going to try and capture this, and bam, this is good. I mean, the walk I did today was filled with so many Pokemon I haven't seen before. It was such a good walk, and i got to say, this, this game is really getting me you know, out, out and about. Like, I spent an hour and a half today walking around, literally went like 45 minutes one way, and I just came back for 45 minutes. And I think now is when we're going to find a Squirtle. I actually found a Squirtle, which I'm so happy about. I found another Squirtle on the way back, but that one was super easy to find. This one, CP 161. It's got like a dark orange uh, circle around, and this thing was a pain in the butt to capture. Like, it kept breaking out. I, I honestly thought I wasn't going to get this. Now, I'm not too sure if you guys know when to actually throw the Pokeball, because I've heard people say throw it when the ring is closest to the white. And also, I've heard people say throw it when it's quite small. There's been different times where I get like a great or a nice, and it's like I don't understand what makes a a great or a nice. There you go, there's a, there's a nice. That was quite close to the white, so I, I've been trying to get it for the Pokeball at the Pokemon when the ring is as big as possible. And this Squirtle was so hard to capture. Like I was just thinking, oh man, if I had a great ball right now, an Ultra Ball, be so much better. But you can't actually get them right now. But I think you can when you grow a high level. You can get some uh, different kind of balls. Bam! That Squirtle keeps breaking out. I was just Right here, I was like, please, please, come on, Squirtle, be a bro. Because this Squirtle wasn't just like an average Squirtle, it had a high CP, 161, it's really good. I was like, I, I need this, this Squirtle will be super awesome. But I got like three nices here, and I still couldn't capture it. But after a while, 
I'm gonna get a great. I, I managed to capture the squad. It was so difficult though. But it looks like to get a nice, you need to be as close to the white as possible. But I had greats that were smaller than the nice, so I'm not not too, not too sure how it works. And that pickle just glitched out there. I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on? But bam, I think this is it. I think this is where we capture the squad. Yes, there we go. So when I was actually trying to get this, I was so I was trying my hardest not to just scream, yes, let's go, let's go. There's so many people around the park, and I gotta say, I've seen a lot of people now actually walking around playing Pokemon Go. I was like, this is awesome. They, they got level eight. The only problem with this game I have so far is that it takes a long time to actually level up. Like when you level up, it, the little notification takes a while to come up. But I got a lure module right there, and I already bought one today, which was kind of annoying. I was like, oh, maybe you can't get these. But I think all the items you can buy in the game, except for maybe the bag upgrade, um, you can actually find through leveling up or poker stops. Maybe we're going to fight this Raticate. And I was like getting a little bit scared. I thought, oh, I didn't heal up. Might end up losing this battle. And my Pidgeot, man. My Pidgeot is too strong. And almost died, but my Pidgeot was just like, yo, I'm going to take you out first. That was so close. And I got to fight the uh, Jimmy Go again to lower his reputation, but get a nice uh, medal. 10 at gym battles won. And then go to catch a Spiro first because why not? Don't want to run away. This thing was uh, super easy to capture. One Pokeball. Gonna get that Spearow. I think I've caught enough Spearows now. I might be nearly nearly there for a, uh, a Fearow, maybe. Maybe a few more Spearows, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I've caught so many. I got, well, right there, it didn't say I had enough, but I mean, off screen, I caught quite a few. We've got to fight the Raticate again. This time, I'm gonna go for the Dratini I just caught this episode. The uh, 172 CP. Bit under leveled, very under leveled. But with dodging attacks, my uh, Dratini and Dragon Breath was just going in. I dodged that pretty well. So you can take on Pokemon that are a lot stronger than you as long as you just like time the dodge as well. This Dratini was just dodging all this type of attacks and I was just like, let's go, come on, quick, Dragon Breath, Dragon Breath, Dragon Breath. And we beat it with like 1 HP left. Now this, uh, this gym is now ours. Which is good gonna put like anything in there just to get the uh, defense points. I'm gonna put my Jigglypuff in. And Jigglypuff's got quite a high CP which is great. And we got caught 50 normal type Pokemon. That's pretty swell. I think what do we oh next we capture this Raticate. So right here I actually use a um it's got like a 296 CP. It's got a great and I thought oh, okay maybe I can capture this right away. I was like two rolls. Oh no, it broke free. So actually, I try an item here, the uh, the berry, which we got for like grown a level, and it makes the Pokemon easier to capture. And there I go. I miss a Pokeball. Miss another Pokeball. And they got another great. And with the uh, berry helping out a little bit, we easily, easily get this Raticate. which is awesome because that Raticate is very, very strong. Alright, so I was starting to walk back and I thought maybe I won't find any more Pokemon, but I put another incense just because it was like a 45 minute walk back and I thought might as well, I might find some new Pokemon. And just before I found the Spiro, I found another new Pokemon. We've got a Staryu, which is pretty great. Really easy to capture as well. Decent CP. Like, today I caught a lot of Pokemon. This is probably one of the best Pokemon Go journeys I had so far. Just because I found so many new Pokemon, got so many new items a few levels. It was it was pretty good, pretty good day today. I think every morning I'm gonna be taking like an hour, an hour and a half walk just to get some stuff. Caught that Spiro, but this thing right here, oh my god, this Poliwag! I want this Poliwag so much. But I don't know what was up with the uh, the the AR. Like my Pokeball just got off screen. I don't know if I was like swiping it wrong, but it just okay, not there. That's fine. You might see in a bit. But the recording actually failed here. I threw a berry to try and capture this thing, but at the end of this uh, battle. It, it failed for some reason it stopped recording. That, that ball there, I swiped it up, it just went to the side. And, and like, I turn off the AR to try and capture it. The problem is, this uh, Poliwag ran away. I, I couldn't capture this Poliwag. Even if I, even after I used a berry. Burger still managed to break free, then ran away. And to end off the episode, I'm gonna evolve my cocoon. It's gonna power up a little bit first. So I have one spare candy. And now, we're about to get a nice and powerful Beedrill.
Look at this thing, it looks so nice and powerful. This is going to end off the episode today. I'm going to do a little bit more grinding. And then next episode we're going to reclaim a, a lot of gyms around a certain area. And uh, start building up Team Instinct. Yeah, tell me in the comments bef uh, in the comments down below, are you Team Instinct, Team Mystic, Team Valor? I would love to know the, uh, the ratios of what uh, team you guys are kind of on. Because I've seen a lot of Team Mystic. I would assume Team Mystic is the uh, more popular choice. But uh, we need to grow that Team Instinct community, you know, take over the whole world. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time for another Pokemon Go video as long as the servers stay up. Have a great day. Peace.